Hey, so we're going to start off this episode with our viewer question of the day. And this one comes from our fan, Cole Slaw. And Cole writes, Dear Friendship Station, I've just entered a new relationship and want to do something special for our next date. What's an idea of something romantic that I can do with my new GF? Well, I'm not necessarily the type to give away any of my technique, but I guess since you're asking, I'll let you in on a little something. The best thing you can do if you really want to impress this new girl is uh, make out with her on the subway. The subway is easily the best spot to get things into action. You know, the atmosphere is just right. You got the sounds of the... You know, you can nestle up right next to your girl on that TTC love seat, and you can just do the works on her. And the best part, the best part about making out on the subway is that everybody gets to see it. Don't you just love it when you're going home after a long day of work and you see two people on the subway making out and you're just like, yes, yes, that is exactly what I wanted to see. That is so hot. Mm. But the reason we are talking about love today is because I am absolutely enamored with the visual stylings of one Ringo Starr. Yes, today we are talking about musical genius and honorary Beatles member Ringo Starr. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, fun facts about Ringo Starr. Uh... He has never had pizza, curry, or onions. Ringo was a rather sickly child dealing with illness after illness. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> He fell into a coma at the age of six after a bout with appendicitis left him with a raging infection, then lost another year recovering from tuberculosis when he was 13. I googled fun facts about Ringo Starr. Is this fact fun enough for you? Oh, what's the other three? Jesus. He doesn't shake hands. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's a good thing. He hates drum solos. Well, he really chose the wrong job. Well, the reason we're talking about Ringo today isn't to do with any of his childhood illnesses, but rather what he did later in life. You see, Ringo isn't just a one-trick pony. He has found success in other avenues than just simply music, and one of the biggest successes is his thriving visual arts career, a career which has boasted him worldwide acclaim and even its very own website, ringostarart.com. So let's just read the about section on this page real quick. I started in the late 90s with my computer art. While touring, it gave me something to do in all those crazy hotels you have to stay in on the road. In its way, pop art is always changing, like pop artists. It's a natural move of things, like pop music and even Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> These artworks showcase his visual talents as never before. I love modern media. It is the way I do my art now, Starr said after his first exhibition of paintings in 2005. Compared often to Andy Warhol and Keith Haring, Ringo's pop art has captured the feel and spirit of the colorful modern age in which we live. By following his progression, you will get an incredible journey into the creative process and mind of one of the greatest rock and roll legends of all time. A, a humble man, Ringo Starr, <laughs> comparing himself to Andy Warhol and then calling himself one of the greatest rock and roll legends of all time. Three phenomenal descriptors in one sentence there. Peace and love are Ringo's life rhythm and melody, and he propels this universal message in everything he does. His evocative artwork, his enthused live performances, his legendary songs, all imbued with joy, reflection, and wisdom of the music icon the world knows and loves simply as... Ringo. He designed a painting for the Not For Violence campaign that sold out in one day, and another of his paintings was used for the Hard Rock Hotel Signature Series t-shirt collections. So yeah, we've got some pretty world-class stuff here, compared to Andy Warhol and Keith Haring, one of the greatest rock and roll legends of all time. He made it onto the t-shirt for the Hard Rock Cafe. I mean, who's done that? Let's take a look at the art. Alright, so this one's called Bad Finger. Uh... <laughs> now, if you couldn't tell, yes, this was all made in MS Paint. Yes, this is actually it. <laughs> this is Ringo Starr's art career. Uh, this is how it started, with bad finger. So we have a man here, uh, let's assume this is the finger in question, and he's displaying this finger to another clearly more outlined man, uh, who's blue. 
And that's something you don't see every day. And in case you didn't know what the title was, it says right there, Bad Finger, just so it's not like you have guests come over and they see this on your wall and they're like, hey, what's the name of this piece? And you're like, oh, I just can't remember. It says right there, Bad Finger. See, that's efficient. That's a, that's, that's a way Ringo is revolutionizing the medium. Add to cart. All right, this next piece is called Chef a la Mode. As you can tell, it's a chef from the mustache, I assume. Or maybe it's that stellar chef's hat that's on top of his head right there. You know, props to Ringo. Uh, it's hard to get the outline of the eyes right, and he just, he almost got it, and that's pretty commendable. Ah, this one's sold out. I can't add it to my cart. All right, this next one is called Hat Man. I like the approach Ringo takes to the framing of this one. Almost all of this man's face is in the shot. I like that the teeth are different colors, you know? But not everybody has the same color teeth on the top and bottom of their mouth. I like the gum that Ringo added to this man's face. You know, he's wearing a hat. What else is it gonna be called? It's Hat Man. Add to cart. All right, the next piece is called Help, presumably inspired by the Beatles song. You know, that song was always very impactful for me. Whenever I listened to it, I got these wildly vivid uh, images in my head. Uh, and I'd have to say, Ringo captured that perfectly here. So we're definitely adding this one to the cart. Now this is high art, by the way. This next one called Is It Time is valued at $6,000. So it's not made cheap and you can tell because Ringo had to do this piece four times in different colors each time. So that's great. Of course, the meaning of the words, is it time? You know, what separates these men but time? It's a statement on how we change over time. The man you are, uh, in the top left corner of the painting isn't the man you are in the bottom right and I think that really speaks to something uh, Deeper captured in Ringo's art. Unfortunately, this one is sold out and you can't win them all, you know But I think it's a really beautiful message that Ringo is displaying. Okay, now this one is called no 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 I assume no 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 is in reference to what this man would say if you were to ask him Hey, can I rub white out all over your face? And, you know, he'll let you do it anyway. He's a nice guy, but he won't be happy about it. Add to cart. And to contrast with No, 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 here we have Okie Dokie. But similar to No, 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 uh, I'm adding this one to my cart. And let's finish off his 2005 works with the world-renowned Your Baby. But rather different to his other pieces where his characters usually have both of their eyes open, Your Baby has one eye open and then the other eye seems to be a centipede of sorts. All right, so let's check out his 2007 artwork. He's had two years to progress at this point, and it really shows. You see the characters, their faces are now in frame. You have these lovely flowers on either side, and he drew the sun as well. You know, how many artists take their time and stop and actually draw the sun in the top right corners of their paintings. And of course, it's a lovely day, it's a lovely scene, as you can tell uh, by the, the pitch black background. You know, that's my favorite type of summer day, when the sun is up, the flowers are blooming, and it's just black, it's all, it's, it's all a nightmare. All right, jumping forward a bit, we're in 2008 artwork. And you know, he seems to have gone back. Every artist likes going back and trying to rework the classics, so to speak. So this seems to be the uh, the sequel to Bad Finger called Two Heads. It's it's like that famous illusion where you can see two faces on either side and this uh, lovely, interesting vase uh, sitting in the middle. Um, so really, this is a masterpiece is what I'm trying to get at. Now this one has a great title. It's called Eyelidded Man. And as you can tell, the eyelids really are the standout feature in this painting. As you can see, this man has two separate eyelids on top of one another, which really adds to the title of the piece. This is very much an eyelidded man, and I wouldn't mistake him with anybody else. He is very much the eyelidded man. Now, Ringo has been operating mostly in portraits at this time, but he's also very much one with nature. He is very connected to uh, nature and animals that surround him, and he tried to capture uh, the beauty of that nature in this next piece called Elephant Foot. The detail he puts into this is stunning. He made the two O's in foot sort of a pair of spectacles, and I think that is to really capture the fact that you are looking at this piece uh, with your own eyes, and you're seeing exactly what it is, and it's this. 
this is the piece we're looking at. <laughs> so we're going to get, I'd say, about five of these and add them to the cart. I think that's a good amount of paintings to have. Okay, so let's take a look at our cart. Hmm, yes, yes, all right. Yes, good, good. Mm, yes, $41,000. That's good. Check out. You know, frankly, for the artwork of one of the greatest rock and roll legends of all time, I'd say $41,000. That's, that's a steal, right? I should probably say at the end of this that if I were to pay, the money wouldn't be going to Ringo. It would be going to uh, the Lotus Foundation, who are a charity who work with issues like domestic abuse and homelessness and cerebral palsy, brain tumors, substance abuse, animals in needs, you know, just the whole works. They're very charitable people. I don't want to mislead anybody and act like Ringo is this guy who's just making a quick buck off of some MS paint art. The money's going to a charitable cause. I just kind of mostly wanted to clown on the fact that this is a man who has been in what is often credited as one of the greatest bands of all time. This is his most recent creative output. Your Baby and Bad Finger and Hat Man. Those were all made by a man who has recorded with John Lennon, <laughs> by a man who has sold millions of albums. And I just find that fascinating. Ringo, if you're out there watching, uh... You're not Andy Warhol, but I wouldn't say anyone was expecting that of you. You're Ringo Starr, and this is the exact type of art I would expect Ringo Starr to make. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, RingoStarArt.com. Uh, it's a fucking journey, man. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is some pretty wild stuff. Hello, everybody. Ringo Starr. I just wanted to say to you, uh, my MS Paint art is one of the most fantastic things in the world. If you find it erotic in any way that's not right my responsibility, don't sexualize my work, don't sexualize my canon. Thank you so much for my time. I love the Beatles.